What's up guys, Black Wars here and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Cycling Manager 2018 for the 13th stage of the Giro between Pinerolo and Ceresore Reale e Lago Seru. Uh, I don't think that was um, my best pronunciation ever. Um, but yeah, as you can tell my voice is still a bit down on power. Um, trying to slowly recover, but we should be good. 186 kilometers um, with a... An incredible climate at the end, a uh, climate I've never heard about, I'm not gonna lie, but um, it's going to be the first real battle between leaders, uh, we'll see if Nibali is as good as he's been showing for uh, the first two weeks of this Giro, and uh, Pedro Caruso will have to help him toward, uh, sorry, throughout um, the entire climate, but yeah, without further ado, let's just jump in and win. With uh, with the shark, and this third stage is on the way. We just started in the tree, but uh, but it's all good uh, unless you've got allergies. Um, oh yeah, Vincenzo Nibali is only plus three today. Puts uh, that puts him on 84 mountain ahead of this incredible stage. Garu uh, Caruso, sorry, is wearing the blue jersey. Um, if you haven't seen uh, the previous episodes, go ahead and um, and uh, and do so. Because Caruso got the dress yesterday. I'm just going to show you the profile. Uh, but uh, it looks like the first part of the climb seems to be quite like um, normal, I guess. Not too steep. But the second part um, is looking like it's going to be an actual killer. And uh, I'm eager to see what's going to happen with this team. Um, what. Like, Nibali's been on top of everything ever since this Giro began. So, um, let's see if he can also be on top when it comes to uh, his actual pretty luxury uh, terrain, which is mountains. Uh, also, we're going to send someone in the break. We're going to send Vel um, Antonio Nibali in the break. Just because I want him to, like, do something on this tour. And, um, yeah, is he going to be able to have a gap? Not sure. We're going to check who's in the breakaway. We've got Peyo Bilbao, we have Christian Knis, Ben O'Connor, Valentin Madoua, Esteban Chavez, Umberto Orsini, Giulio Ciccione, Joe Dombrowski, uh, Gianluca Brambilla, Ivan Souza, Fraporti and Antonin Villar just behind. Then you've got Danny Navarro, Mikel Nieve, Ruben Plaza, Ivan Santaromita, Conti, Ulissi, Tendam, Villela, Bugioli, Cataneo and um, Teo Gegenhardt but the peloton is going to catch us so um, I'll see you later in this stage with uh, maybe an actual breakaway okay well um, it's been quite a tough start to be honest uh, we're approaching the summit of the uh, Colle del Lis with Esteban Chavez uh, trying to get the point there's only three guys remaining in the front uh, at the front sorry Jojo Broski, Ivan Souza, Esteban Chavez, Prambia Ciccioli are trying to come back but uh it's been very intense uh as you can see like Corin is nearly dead Garozio is dead uh yeah I didn't expect that intense of a start for this first mountain stage uh, there's been a fall there's been a fall um a lot of riders have been copying the incident Miguel Lopez is down I think Antonio Nibel is down yep um I don't know if there's anyone else that's been uh, caught in the fall. There's still a group here with like the leaders. Dumoulin is there, Roglic is there, so no, I guess that's like everyone important. Uh, Formolo was in the fall, Jungolt I saw him, Mikel Landa is with us, Simon is with us, and Tony Galopin. Tony Galopin is out! Tony Galopin is out of the Giro! And that's very important! The tenth overall position of the GC, that didn't make sense but no one cares, is out of the Giro d'Italia after this 13th stage following a fall uh, in the Colle del Lis. Wow. Okay, that's massive. Uh, and with him is Marco Marcato, both withdrawing from this Giro. Okay. Well, uh, that's something that I didn't expect. I mean, it's a fall, but wow. 
Okay. Uh, well, Peloton is going to try and come back on the breakaway. In the meantime, we're going to give the guys some water because they haven't been drinking uh, since the start of the race. And I'll see you for the next first category climb. Okay, we're into the Pian del Lupo. Um, again, very steep climb for this uh, first category climb. Um, Nibali Paduvo Caruso here. The like you can see, they're all in red already. The rhythm is on them is incredible. Like they've been pacing since the start of the race. You couldn't catch a break. You genuinely couldn't catch a break. The only time where you could have you could have cut a break was when everyone fell. But uh, for now, nine kilometers until the summit. Nibali Caruso Paduvo are still here. Uh, nearly on perfect shape. So let's keep it that way. There's been a crash! There's been a crash in the mountain! Primus Roglic is down! He's gonna come back eventually. But Primus Roglic is down. Miguel Lopez has fallen today. Tony Gallopin has withdrawn from the race. A lot of things are happening in this 13th stage of the Giro d'Italia. Meanwhile, at the front of the, of the race, Esteban Chavez looks like he's going to get maximum points for Di Pian del Lupo. Brambilla, uh, Dombrowski, Ciccione will get uh, the uh, other points. I've just been pacing a bit with Caruso in the peloton um, to like limit the gap and also to take some points because uh, I don't know what's going to happen like for this classification. I think Esteban Chavez might take all the points. Um, I think if I, if I saw correctly on the first climb there's 30 points given to the guy who takes first place. Or th well maybe 31 points I don't know. But Esteban Chavez is the provisional mountain leader uh, before the finish climb. Right, everyone keeps falling in this descent. It's incredible. It's incredible. Like, Inao was just down. He came back on his bike. And Vivian is out of the chair. Oh, no, okay, no, he's not. He was just blocked. Sergio Inao, however, and Christian Knees. Wow, the two guys from Team Ineos are out of this Giro. It's not going well um, for the first Grand Tour of this new team. Uh, why is anybody pacing 80? I don't know. Well, uh, that's an eventful race. 36 kilometers to go. Um, 13 kilometers before the, fi the finish. Sorry, the start of the climb. And I'll see you there. Okay, we go. 16 kilometers remaining. In the Lago Seru, the breakaway is 4 minutes, 20 ahead of the peloton. Um, breakaway led currently with Brambia, Esteban Chavez and Joe Domorski. Uh, ever since like, the Roglic incident, um, Lotus stopped facing. So I'm hoping that maybe Roglic is not on a good day. Um, I mean, everyone except Dumoulin and I have, have had uh, major issues. So, yeah, for now we're just gonna pace just casual, normal 70 75 with the Munich Caruso in order to like reduce the gap. And then in the second part of the climb, uh, then we'll go absolutely nuts as we cross the mountain. Uh, we literally just went through a mountain. That's how good the Munich Caruso is at climbing. There you go, 8.4 kilometers to go. Sorry, 7.1, my bad. Uh, and we've just entered. The first complicated part of this climb, Mikelanda tries to make a move with Adam Yates and Miguel Angel Lopez. Caruso is being blocked by Jordan Broski. That's not good. Uh, Mikelanda has, uh, has made himself a, uh, a little gap here. We're going to kill the Mina Caruso, literally. We have to. I'm sorry, you might be fourth of the GC. Um, but Nibel is first and he's the main thing. Alright, Esteban Chavez, Gianluca Rambia and Mikelanda. Those are the three guys. Ahead of the group when Primoz Roglic attacks. Second place of the classification is, there, is on the move. Primoz Roglic has attacked. And uh, Put de Vivo is going to try all he can to bring him back before unleashing the beast. Vincenzo Nibali. Alright. We're going to have to create a, a time gap here. Is it this? Yeah, it is this. And uh, this. By 40 seconds right now, as they've reached uh, Giulio Ciccione. 34 seconds, we're about to unleash the shark of Messina. And here we are, Vincenzo Nibali on the move, trying to come back on 
Primoz Roglic who's literally just going so quickly he's just lost Mikel Landa. Mikel Landa's gone. Wait, Peter Vivo, no, shot of time gap is not with you, mate. Roglic, Nibali, Bob Jungles, Lopez, Dumoulin, Landa's gone, Lopez is gone. Jungles is trying all he can to stay with Vincenzo Nibali, but it's not easy. Jungles is gone, Tom Dumoulin is gone. Nibali catches Primoz Roglic, overtakes Primoz Roglic, and Vincenzo Nibali is about to get this win at the Lago Seru. Oh, what a stage. What a stage by the shark. And Vincenzo Nibali raises his hands at the summit of the Cherit Soleil Reale. And my voice is absolutely gone, but no one gives a fuck about that. Primoz Roglic and Tom Dumoulin end up in second and third, respectively. About a minute behind Vincenzo Nibali. Bob Jungles gets fourth. Mikel Landa and Miguel Lopez are going to battle for, five, for fifth place with, uh, sorry, with Adam Yates in seventh. Brambia, Formolo, Peu de Vivo is going to round up the top ten. Um, okay. Caruso is there. Caruso has lost a lot, a lot of time today. Uh, we're just going to see how much he lost, and then uh, I'll see you on the podiums. But what a, what a tough mount, what a tough climb. Honestly, that's that's inhuman. That is inhuman. The rhythm must have been incredible, because like there was still nearly a full peloton at the bottom of the climb. Uh, Caruso is going to get a 15, 15th place. Yeah. Maybe, you know, yeah, he's going to get overtaken by Kun Buman, lads. Kun Buman. Oh, actually, 17th, I can't count. Wow. Okay, I'll see on the podiums. And in one of the most epic stages of this Giro, Vincenzo Nibali wins at the summit of the Cerezole Reale. A minute ahead of Primoz Roglic and Tom Dumoulin. 148 ahead of Dumoulin, uh, ahead of Bungle, sorry, 222 ahead of Landa Lopez. And, um... All of the guys then are three minutes behind, or even more. As uh, Nibali is now 227 ahead of Roglic, 342 against of, ahead of Dumoulin, and Jungles is in fourth place, already more than seven minutes behind. Put the Vivo and Caruso are respectively ninth and tenth. Caruso coming from fourth to tenth place, real quick right there. Um, and Nibali gets the mountain jersey, who um, who'll be worn, which is going to be worn, sorry, by Sivan Chavez tomorrow. Uh, well, the Cyclamen jersey is staying Vincenzo Nibali. I need to check how many stages I've won Vincenzo, because I think I'm on a 50% win ratio right now, and that's just impressive. Uh, so yeah, points jersey is still me. Miguel Andre Lopez is still in white. Baran Merida is still the best team. That's, uh, that's classic. But wow. What a stage that was. I'm actually lost for words. It's, it was incredible. It was incredible. And I mean, I enjoyed it. So I'm pretty sure you guys must have enjoyed it as well. Uh, if you did, then please smash that like button. Get involved in, in the comments. Subscribe if you're new around here. Click the bell to get notified of whenever I upload. Um, but yeah, what a stage. I'm actually like, wow. Um, just gonna check if there's any, like, good, uh, big names, uh, that were dropped. No, I don't think there's gonna be big, big names, uh, more than 15 minutes behind. Um, uh, however, we're gonna just check who withdrew from the race. Jesus Christ. Okay, so Marcato, Galopin, Heno, Bugioli, out. Uh, ah, I thought Christian Knes was out as well. Okay, well. And out of time, Mercomestri, I, I was, like, watching him... Uh, when the stage ended, he finished more than two hours and ten minutes after Vincenzo Nibali. So yeah, solid out of time. Michael Schwarzman, Tom Lazar, Roger Kluge, Tom Bolly, Michael F Michael Honore, Hiroki Nishimura, Vyacheslav Kuznetsov, Jente Biermans. Demiano Chima is out. Ah, that's disappointing. That's disappointing. He's been in every breakaway uh, since the state this race started. Simone Consoni, Fabio Sabatini, Luca Covi, Yakub Mareshko. Uh, he, he could. He's done one mountain stage and he's gone. Oh wow! If you're still here, pre, um, type R.I.P. Moreshko in the chat. That that's gonna warm his heart. Paolo Simeon and Giovanni Leon, uh, Leonardi are also the guys out. Well, this stage is nuts. It's nuts. And if you want to play it, the link for the for the World DB is in the description down below. 
Uh, and uh, yeah, my voice is slowly recovering. So that means for tomorrow's stage, might be do might be gone. Uh, well, it might be good, might not. We don't know. Between Saint Vincent and Courmayeur, Skyway Mont Blanc. Uh, is it Skyway Mont Blanc? No, sorry. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, very quick stage, 131 kilometers. Very well, uh, short and quick paced. Uh, probably a lot of damage is going to be done as well. Uh, if the rhythm, like if Jumbo Visma take things into cons into the matter, we're gone. Uh, but that will be for tomorrow's stage. I'm just going to show you the, D the GC. Um, if you enjoyed the video, as I said, smash that like button, get involved in the comments down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow. Same hour, same channel, same game. I've been Blackwall. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you today, guys, and goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. What the mother man need feeding? I don't wanna go bomby. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black, and I'm on with the bad. Snapping with a phone and dab. Boss up, I'm out with the duster. Put him in the drip and sip, blockbuster.